So you guys know every once in a while I, I get I, I have the good fortune of being able to go to Australia about four times a year and when I'm there I see the ute trays on all of the rigs and I'm always drooling over the over the efficiency of the setup and now we have I'm gonna to talk to Jamie and you're from Norwell in Australia you actually manufacture the tray right yep. and then mainline overland you are the main distributor here in North America and you set it up for US spec trucks right so we're gonna get a chance to take a close look at this um, I'll let Jamie talk about it and then we'll see what kind of US spec trucks are available thank you guys very much for your time today and thanks for thanks for walking us through what do you got here Right, tell, is, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, this is a eight foot bed for a full size vehicle. This is on a Dodge Ram. Um, we've got a tray deck underneath, the canopy on top. Yep. It's, with, it's loaded with features, so mm -hmm. pull out drawers, fully sealed for your gear, drop down fridge slide. I'm, in, I'm just immediately impressed with the heavy duty nature of everything that you're showing me, right? I mean, everything just feel, it seems so solid. Yeah, yeah and that's our. Our motto is uh, heavy duty, high quality, mm -hmm. lifetime guarantee against workmanship. So we've got to stand behind our name, and that's yep. what we do. The Australian conditions are tough, so and that's what we're glad to be able to bring it over to North America. Right. Um, is this? It looks like aluminum. Is it yep. all aluminum? All aluminum. So the whole products, except the fittings, are stainless. So stainless steel fittings, but the, everything's made out of aluminum. And then what is the what is the weight of of this Wait. unit so here. this whole unit here would be 1300 pounds so mm -hmm. that's okay. a complete unit and the other advantage is the top canopy winds off jacks off so you can have your flatbed yep when you're not using it for camping okay um so tell us a little bit about the configuration this particular configuration yep so this one has a double double draw both sides mm -hmm. um empty space there we've got a drop down fridge slide mm -hmm. over the other side we've got a dog door so a separate compartment for your dog so ventilated door We've got a roof rack on top. This is a solar panel which charges the battery for the fridge. It's got um, the boxes underneath for storage. Also on the end there's a pull-out drawer underneath on the back. And then we've got two 10-gallon tanks underneath for water. So. Okay, so two 10-gallon tanks yep. for water. That's great, yep. built in. That's awesome. And then I see just on the back of it you, you have a nice ladder yep. uh, for accessing the rack. Yep. And then you've got a couple so well, you got one jerry can. One jerry can on the spare back. tire, or you can uh -huh. have two jerry cans or two spares. Mm -hmm. And then the roof rack, you know, a lot of people put rooftop tents or the variety of stuff you can put up on top. Now, for a rooftop purpose. tent, what do you do uh, in Australia? What kind of rooftop tent are you putting up there? Because you're pretty high up in the air. Yeah, we, you know, customers use a variety of rooftop tents, so, uh -huh. you know, all different types. We build a couple of bars on, and they, you know, so whatever brand they're using, so you know it seems to work. You know what's funny is, um, you know, talking to the guys out there and talking about the rooftop tents, we think about them for convenience, and uh, talking to the locals, they say, yeah, but the farther north in Australia you go, you don't want to be on the ground, because everything on the ground wants to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from the crocodiles. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> snakes, and that's how you get up. That's a safe spot to be. So. Exactly. And it allows you also to tow a boat or tow a trailer, you know, so there's mm -hmm. a variety of being able to do that. So Now, what else should we know about the utility back? Is there anything else we haven't covered about the... The main advantage is you've got two options. So you can have the flatbed and pull it off, and then there is yep. different configurations so we had to do an open configuration with nothing in there, and then more drawers, you know, different, there's probably six or seven different layouts that you can have internally for mm -hmm. it. So. Now, if I were a customer and I said, I want one of these for my rig, how long do I have to wait to get it? Um, we have got some stock stuff, but it's we're looking at sort of 12 to 14 weeks so okay. when you order. So now I'm now I'm getting into logistics. But how many of these can you fit in a container? Fit in a container, we can yeah. fit um, 12 of the bodies and four wow. of the canopies. So that's yeah, pretty good. Wow, that's pretty good. So, yeah, yeah not which bad. makes it good for freight. So it brings the yep. cost down per unit. Absolutely, so which makes it very affordable. So great. Mm. All right, thank you very much, Jamie. Really appreciate that. Great, Tom. Now. Nice what kind of, yeah, nice to meet you again. Uh, what kind of rigs do we have this set up for uh, for North America? So the first rigs that we set this up for were the, the new 2016 Tacoma, uh -huh. uh, the third gen. Uh, you can put it on pretty much any Tacoma, Frontier, Colorado, or Canyon. 
Uh, you can also put it on full-size trucks now. So this represents one of the first full-size canopies this is a beast. put together. I mean, Correct. <laughs> this it's on a Ram 2500 yeah. diesel. Uh, you could also put this on a Toyota Tundra, mm -hmm. on a Ford or a Chevy, pretty much any six and a half to eight foot bed. Uh -huh. um, we also offer a mid-sized version in a five foot and a six foot. So you can put it on, you can take your dual cab truck that maybe have a small bed that you don't really utilize very often. You take that off and put a very highly utilitarian uh, train canopy version on that as well and, and really build out an overland specific rig. So are these the two main models that you have, a tray and canopy version, and then a this sort of looks a more utilitarian Well, to go back storage. to what we do at Mainline, yeah. we're also a four-wheel campers dealer, yes. and we, we deal specifically with doing a lot of flatbed uh, camper conversions. So the first time we looked at these was to put it on a flatbed camper. And that Woolrich Edition uh, four-wheel camper number one over there has, one, has the first tray that we brought over to the United States. And so that one, we, we talked to Norwell, we, got, we worked with their CAD drawers mm -hmm. and worked to find a camper and a bed combo that would work perfectly and dovetail with the four-wheel campers. So all of these beds, if it's an eight foot, six and a half foot, five foot, or a, four, or a six foot, a midsize, will all work perfectly with the four-wheel campers. They're gonna sit right in that, in that groove. Yeah. Um, and then when you, when you have the canopies in there as well, you have the option of running a canopy, running a truck with the sort of uh, the, the removable bed sides, mm -hmm. or you have the option of running your four-wheel camper on. So it gives you a lot of options and also is portable. You can take this off, you can put it on your next truck. So it's not welded into the frame, it's bolted down. Um, we have high mounts for it, low yeah. mounts for it. You can have a high clearance off-road truck or you can have a four-wheel camper that has a beautiful cab over height that'll give you more fuel efficiency. So I wanna, I wanna touch uh, uh, on something that you mentioned because I think it's a, a real benefit. Um, when you invest like this for your overland rig, right. you're never gonna get back, you know, if you sell an overland rig with all its gear, you're never gonna get back the right. investment. You invest in something like this, it's really good to hear that there's a pretty simple way exactly. to get it off and right. transfer it to your new overland platform. Right. That's we, great. We all overland, we all travel and put miles on our vehicles. And when yeah. that thing hits 100,000, 200,000, yeah. 300,000, depending on the vehicle, yep. um, you want to know that this system can be transferred to your next truck. Yeah. And because these are made in such a modular and removable way, you can just get a different set of mounts and take it on to, to put it on your new generation Tacoma or your new generation Tundra or your new generation Ram. Mm -hmm. um, we have the mounts and the boxes are on sliders, so they can be bolted to suit different wheel sizes as well. So if you're running 40s or 37s or 35s, you can move these boxes around to fit whatever you're going to be running. Um, so that versatility is really why we love Norwell and why we wanted to partner with them on yeah. this on the system. No, it looks like a great kit. It looks really good. What do I have to do to my stock Tacoma before I throw this on the back of it? So uh, when you buy a tray, the installation is included. All the labor, all the, the conversion is included when you okay. buy when that purchase price. So it's about eight hours of labor um, for one of our installers, either Mainline Overland, Four Wheel Campers Jackson Hole, um, Rocky Mountain Four Wheel Campers, or Out West. Um, we have other dealers and installers as well. And they will reroute your, um, because you are running this flatbed, it's an above the wheel flatbed. So you're gonna be taking out uh, your, your normal fuel filler neck and putting on Norwell's fuel filler system. Mm -hmm. You can also put a DEF system on if you're running DEF for the diesel. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna place those uh, place the tray and place the boxes in such a way that it's gonna be optimal for your articulation off road, um, for you know the pull out drawer and all the placement of those things mm -hmm. under your bed. So what they're, about they're all installed by Norwell dealers? Great. It's turnkey you're offering the complete Pretty much. solution. That's yeah. great. You show up, eight hours later you got your camp. Great. Now what about spring rates or anything like that? Do you need to change the suspension as well? All depends on the truck you're running. Okay. If you're running a mid-sized truck, similar to the four-wheel campers, we recommend maybe adding a leaf mm -hmm. or running airbags or something like that. Um, if you're on a full-size truck, you're usually going to be below the normal bed rating, uh, payload rating for your truck. So cool. even this thing is you know, going to be going to be very suitable to a Ram 2500 or a, even a Ram 2500, you didn't have to do anything, did you? To Absolutely. <laughs> now, the Ram, this truck is a little beefed up. It's running 37s. It's got yeah. some, some serious business on it. I think it has yeah. some airbags on it, too. <laughs> right but on. you don't necessarily have to uh, have yeah. to beef up your truck to run a Norwell. Yeah. Oftentimes, the mid-sized trays are almost a similar one-to-one -one with your stock bed. Great. So, 
Hey, Tom, I'm really glad to see you bringing these to North America. I think people are really going to like them. I really appreciate your time. Great to meet you. Yeah, Thanks great. Yeah, nice to meet you.